Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video I'm going to show you how to make color pop in Lightroom. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Remini, I'm a French photographer from the amazing, incredible city of Paris, France. And in this video I want to take you with me to Kokomo Beach. It's one of the nicest beaches of the Caribbean and I want to show you how you can really retouch the colors in the sunset so they come out really white. It's not always easy, but don't forget you can download the source files if you don't have a chance to go to Curacao. You can just download the source files right away and also I'm going to give you my photo effort toolbox. What is my photo effort toolbox? Where it's some of my best presets, profiles, textures and brushes that I use with tutorial on how to use them. It's all free. You can get it from clicking the link up there or from the link under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time a video comes out. As the Big G's says, there is a place I want to go and that is Kokomo. Let me show you. All right, guys, really quick, a little video about some of my favorite photos that I took in. Uh, this was in Kokomo Beach in Curacao in the Caribbean. So um, I was, you know, they have this sort of, uh, you know, playground for kids here and the sun was pretty high. This is, I, I took so many photos. This is the, the one that I uh, like the most. So I tried with different characters. And so the sun was pretty high on this one. Then the sun got lower on this one where these two beautiful ladies. And then there was this other lady that was there. The sun was really at the horizon. And then no one was there. So I tried different things. So let's see here. I'm going to use my signature presets, which you can get for free if you click. I'm going to try on this one. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go sunset, sunset, linear, dark, something like this. One click and boom. Look at that. It's crazy. It's a little over the top, so I'm going to lower down the saturation. Don't need to be so much saturated. Uh, I think on this one, you see, I don't like when there is too much blue in the sky. Remember, uh, I'm going to take the, the, this little spot out. I like, uh, you know, a, a, a preset is only a starting point. I think I'm going to use the little gradient here. I have a little gradient in my signature preset. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. There was already some blue there, but I want to get more blue. Uh, let's see, that's too much blue. you got to be very subtle. Because if you add too much color that was not there, you can really see it afterwards. I just wanted to add a little bit more. But because there's a bit of a lag, yeah, that's too much of a difference. You see, I'm going to back it down. I just wanted to add a bit more blue. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, on this one, I'm just going to make this, that's all right. I'm going to take my radial circle. If you use my preset, you will see you have to click. There is circles. You have to put this one over the sun. And then you have to go here to Range Mask if you've got, you don't have to do that, it's an optional step, but if you have Lightroom CC, the, the latest, and you have this new beautiful Luminance slider, you can use that and you move this to the right, then this way, the, whatever it's doing on the sun is, you see, it's, it's, check out the difference, see how the, the color of the sun is spinning over on the boy and everything, and if I do that, it's, it's more around the sun, because it creates a, it creates a mask. So if you press the option key, you can even see what the mask looks like, which is really cool. So uh, black conceals white reveals. So the black, see the boy is black, so he's not going to get influenced by that radial circle. So if yeah, if you want to get the signature preset, just download it here. It's for free and you can get it. We have a new way to deliver the files to you through Messenger. It's much faster. You just click and you get the files. Okay, and maybe this one I'm going to crop. But before I do that, I'm going to select all and I'm going to synchronize what I did on this one on the other ones because I think it will do most of the heavy lifting. So let's click on this one. Uh, this one, the sun was coming down a little bit. Again, the preset is just a starting point. Like I find this one really lacks of contrast and uh, maybe add a bit more contrast on this one. Maybe add a bit of vibrance. I didn't add any vibrance on the other one because it was so bright. Uh, and then let's say this one. I love to take photos when the sun is right at the horizon and uh, the two pretty girls left and I got an old lady that came, but you know, that's life. But she was had an interesting hat. So that's kind of cool. And then the last one is this one. So I always work like this with preset. It goes really fast, you know. So which one do I like the most? I'm going to press N. N is going to put me into survey mode. Okay, shift tab to go really full screen. And I can see all the photos, which one I think will do best on 500px. Uh, I think the one that's going to do best is this one. 
is the one of the boy because the one the, the expression of the boy is cool but uh, the I don't like so much the water down here on this one it's a bit blurry because it's lagging so I think I'm going to crop this one so let me go back on this shift tab to go back and I'm just going to use this one I'm just going to crop it I don't want to distract it with something else so I'm just going to come here and cut this and then I'm going to post this on 500px and I'm going to go get uh, you know a 95.7 reward be on the home page of 500px you know <laughs> i hope maybe not uh you know usually i don't like photos when the sun is too high but in this one because of the boy was so awesome i think it works really the best uh you know i think i like more the light here you know when there was this lady there but uh i don't know the the fact that the boy is there you see for me what makes a really cool photo is having like a foreground a background and a middle ground and I think, you know, he is just so awesome, you know, with the way he, uh, he does with his arms. It's just more cute. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give it a little like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and clicking the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a free video. Also, don't forget to download the source file so you can train at home, follow my tutorials and get it right also. And don't forget to download my photography toolbox. That toolbox is going to give you some of WebEx presets, profiles, textures, and brushes, and tutorials on how to use them. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir. I will see you in another video.